Welcome back. Welcome one and all for our next uh, stream of Earthbound. We are in Foreside. Uh, the big city. The Smash the Bros. Apple, you could say. Yes. Um, the, the Smash Bros. stage that isn't the city that everyone hates. It's the city that I think people have a moderate to neutral opinion on. Wait, what is the city that everyone hates? Is that Onet? New Pork City. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Alright, do we want to switch up our uh, flavor? Um... Let's just be plain. Be boring. Okay. <laughs> hey. My cat's looking at me, trying to read her intentions. Well, that's not going to make for riveting the stream material, so let's just mosey on. Ah, yes. Um. Right. Uh. Yeah, uh. Apologies for the, the people that were watching last week and I fell asleep <laughs> uh, while we were playing, but we were going to wind down anyway, so. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Uh, yeah, we just wrapped up in the gold mine and uh, got to check. The it. third strongest small a bunch of times. Yes. So I guess we'll just head back into town while we wait for stop. I'm a sell a chicken. As one does. What are you peddling? Alright. Starting to think those chickens aren't going to be worth it uh, much longer. Maybe not, but up. Uh, someone get sunstroke. Yeah. I'm just saying, if like right. you need to clear out inventory space, uh, those eggs might be the first on the chopping block. Eh, fair. Greetings. I'm George, Gerardo Mont uh, Montague's brother. Montague? Okay. Gerardo is in his mine, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to Frisk. Here it is. Please take it. Frisk got the diamond. Well, I've got to go. I'm busy working at the other mine. Busy, busy, busy. I'm only getting... Uh, stuff worth thousands and thousands of dollars were this easy in real life. Well, to be fair, we did do him a solid. A big, beautiful, and expensive looking job. Also, I'm reasonably sure it's not safe to drive a big ol' uh, uh, backhoe like that over a uh, suspension bridge. Well, but if it can support, uh, if it can support a semi, it's probably okay. Here, we'll beat up this man real quick. Nice. 
Gracias. Taxi was totally scrapped, dude. Oh, yeah. There you are. It's the same lady again. <laughs> assume that it would be considered poor taste to try and fence the diamond through the uh, sandwich board. Uh, where is... Where is the theater? Oh, it must be... Let me in, I've got a diamond. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. Let me in. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forget I have to do all the work around here. You have to show ticket. Your show ticket, that is. So you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no! This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. <laughs> Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to find buried gold, or you would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. <laughs> hi, hi, SG. Hey, SG. It's not gold, but it is diamond. What, what, what? I can't tell what it is from this distance. Bring it on closer. Okay, but why do you... Okay, I have... Lady, move your couch. Yay! That, 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 that diamond! You're gonna pay with that diamond? Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll rip up this contract. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the Runaway 5 are free. You should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe, maybe 50 bucks. So I gave you a bargain. Thump, 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 thump. I made lots of money. <laughs> Sorry about being such troublemakers. A plot twist, it's really cubic zirconium. <laughs> we won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. Alright, thanks again! Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got except freedom. Freedom, freedom is what we've really sought. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. I think that she's just watching all this, as baffled as everyone else. Thump, thump, thump. I made so much money I can hear my heartbeat. All right, one last show. Welcome to the final Runaway Five performance at the Tapala Theater.
It's going to be a great show. We're so good, it makes me think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. <laughs> those kids are hip, baby. Hey. I don't think we've actually been introduced to Venus here yet, but Oh. Okay, just sure, just just drive it on in. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about carbon monoxide, it's fine. I assume people still aren't talkative. Yeah, no, okay. That one guy's suit all, almost looks like it did in the Japanese version in this lighting. Yeah, huh, I kind of oh, thought the huh. same thing. Oh, I can't see the Runway 5 here anymore? I should dump the sorry of ex excuse of a man and become a Runway 5 groupie. I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runway 5 show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, man. <laughs> oh, hi. Alright, well, I feel like we've really accomplished something here today. Uh, let's treat ourselves. Yeah. Sup. Would you like to buy tickets for the Topla Theater? Orchestra seats and balcony seats are sold out. Now there's standing room only left. It's 30 per person. Is that okay with you? Um... Nah. Oh, I see. You're not a customer. <laughs> what? Uh... Actually, this one's has been a bit. Um... Really is to start just using some of this crap. Here, give this to our gadget here. Uh, should probably. Uh, um, yeah, it's probably worth calling uh, um, S Cargo Express to return the uh, bicycle. Uh -huh. spend a buck. Sure. Let's see. Can they do deliveries in the uh, shopping mall or do I have to be outside? I think I have to be outside. I will take care of this real quick. They do deliveries in the mall. Yeah, that this is the 90s, so I guess that's a little ahead of time. Somehow, I feel like the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse of sixth sense. You're weird, mouse.
All right, what's your deal? Hello there. How would you like to buy some seasonings that go great on your food at mealtime? These are not just your average seasonings. Whenever you try to eat something, the seasoning will automatically sprinkle on your food. It's really almost magical. Boy, that's freaky. Go to have a deviled egg and suddenly a salt shaker comes out of nowhere. <laughs> what would you like? M and M and M and M and M and M. We will not worry about that for now. Everything's so expensive. Should I return to my hometown? Hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can I get for you? I mean, the burgers are as the same price here as they are everywhere else. What is this? Oh. Shh! Don't talk too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. Hey, we can buy a hyper beam. Finally, friggin' uh, not as far into the game as I would have expected for TM15, but I'll take it. Oh. I guess Nintendo must already be evolved. Because it can use the hyper beam. Oh, yeah. going to buy the other thing? Uh, the laser gun? I guess that's... I guess that's hot. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll have to offload that as well. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Man, I'm so busy. Don't bother me, kid. Can't sell constructibles. Guess not. What a loser! Ah, hell, See, he's okay. polite. Hold on. Of course, he's just thinking it, but at least he's not saying it. laser gun again. And I'll pull out several thousand dollars. I'm good oh. for it. Just take all of it. I don't think you'll be able to buy everything anyway. Um, I will not take all of it. Because I do not want that to get... Well. I believe this is Your Vigo. attention, please. With the customer from Onet, Mr. Frisk, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was customer Frisk, fourth floor office. 
Go I think 30,000 would be way more than enough somehow. Yeah, I read it as 3,000, not 30,000. My bad. Wait. Oh, yeah. I was misremembering what ga what game this was. I was like, wait, where's the second Franklin badge? But of course, this game is only <laughs> one. Alright, let's endure the difficulty spike. Yep. This place is pretty notorious for being a difficulty spike. I love the enemies in here, though. They're oh. very wacky. Yes. Mystical record A's offense is 63. Defense is 78. Vulnerable to fire. Susceptible to brain shock. I like that they come immediately after your fighting axes, so it's just like, yeah, we know those taxis were chumps, but we're just gonna throw some records at you and they're gonna be the most threatening things of all time. Also, they heal themselves. I forgot that they healed themselves. I don't think these were the toughest enemies, though. No. We'll see the real culprit, uh, I'm sure, pretty quick here. Though I think those guys are annoying if they're... They heal the really dangerous guys. Oh, right, this is the point of the game where, um... Dean loses out on a ton of valuable experience. Yep. Ah, man. Uh, how much is max? Oh, it is worth doing again. Aren't you going to try using more of your items? Yes. It's true. I was. I always appreciate a mimic as well, just using the present sprite uh, for the enemies. I, I guess that is technically a mimic, huh? Uh-huh. Realize the power of PSI Flash Beta. Uh, how much to max for Nintendo? Yeah, we'll hold off. I'm actually going to deposit all of my funds because yeah, that's I'm going smart. to eat a lot of shit otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know exactly what triggered this. Um, I, I seem to remember on my first run, um, uh, my first run, uh, it being on the top floor, so that was what I was waiting for. But I guess if the point is to get to the top floor, it makes sense. Well, yeah, I knew you had to climb up to the top, but... The adorable records again. Okay. Uh, do I have anything? Do they... I mean, records can rust. I know. 
It might be robots. Big battle rack only hits one. Okay. Oh. Maybe I should hold on to those for a little bit. Yeah, those are really good. Got a um, alert there. I mean, a uh, uh, backwards uh, surprise attack. Scarcely managed to salvage it, yeah. Then, something sticky stuck to the enemy. The mystical record's body solidified. Ah, yes, that's multi target, I forgot. Yeah. Mm. The scalding cup of copies I remember being threatening, yeah. Come on. Heal, 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 heal. Correctly, the coffee cups coffee attack is effectively a PSI fire. Oh, that would make sense. Let's see if our friend uh, the butterfly is here. It is not. Well, damn. Is it here now? No, no. I'm starting to like uh, the outside world less and less. <laughs> okay, we can handle one. Right? They we're reproducing, but then they left to start a family. Yes, the slime generator is probably um, his best gadget. Inside the present, there is a cup of coffee. I mean, it is a cup of coffee. Um, you drink it. Oh, that was not worthwhile. Making the remains of your enemy. Considering it was like a ghost, you'd think it would be like possessing you when you do that. But <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's weird to think of. Risk, customer, frisk. Please hurry to Dean. Why? <laughs> Crap. No, 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 no! Now here's the real bastard. Hey, 
Hey, wait, not everyone got to participate. Oh, well. Oh, um, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a defense spray on me. Played a haunting melody. Wait, that's not good at all. be the time to use this. Blow him out of the sky. That'll do. Uh, I should heal. Yes, you should. Hungry HP sucker. It's not going to recover a ton, but it'll be something. I don't like that. Actually, kind of a good thing. Uh, so Nintendo doesn't die. I guess. Uh, okay. I will heal you, and then you can shoot. Oh. Well, that's bad. Crap, and I cannot heal. Uh damn 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 I have to let him go. He's on one. But uh that's interesting. Huh. Oh, um, I think one of your equipment might have prevented mortal blows or something. The great oh. charm. Huh. Maybe, yeah. Boy, that coin of slumber did not help at all with slumber. Um. Okay. Oh, it did, in fact, not say it was a mortal blow. Yeah. Why you gotta be like that? Oh, it's just the regular HP sucker, that's it. Nope, nope. There you go, right when it matters. <laughs> Holy moly. The worst part about the HP sucker is that its animation is long. Okay. Going to have to negotiate this one carefully. Not, not great, but that's at least something to work with. Anyway, I'm going to just abandon you. Nope. Ah, damn. Yes, fall for my evil scheme. Get distracted by the elephants. And the pretzel teddy bear. Ah! More appeared. Oh! <laughs> They're multiplying! Did they go away? Well, one of them did go away, in fact. Damn it. I'm going to have to blitz past them. Well, let's keep reloading. Yep. 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 Hey, ah. you can buy liquor over there?
Ja. Ich, rude. Frisk, Customer Frisk. Oh, lucky day. Okay. Um, what the hell are we working with? Just big bottle rocket straight up in his face. Okay. Yeah. Sup, bastard. You finally made it. This department store is gonna be your crew, Carter. You will be gone and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. Oh, well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Department store spook appeared. Yeah, nothing to it. Just have to bash his smelly ass brains in. Do I have? No. Bash brains in. And you can eat these bottle rockets. You could use the sudden guts pill, maybe. Oh, good point. Oh, bad. Might as well. Um. I don't think that's gonna work, the slime generator. Let's just hunker down for the long haul with Frisk. Amazingly enough, Frisk's guts became 58! Frisk's defense went up by 6. There's something. Let's, HP sucker. Let's do it, we... wait. Aha! The counter PSI unit. It did not... Oh. Yep, there it goes. You wouldn't have been able to save it with the HP sucker anyway. Nah. Oh, right. Guts means more smash attacks. There we go. Oh. Good. Wow, holy shit. Um, wow, um, that is a lot of levels for not Nintendo. Life up, uh, Gamma. It was relatively easy, but we got kind of lucky, and that very easily could have been a death. Mm hmm. Even though you could beat me. Master Gigas will avenge me. At this moment, Dean should be... Monotoli. Dead. Dead. Wait, is that... Is that a map of Iceland from Mario 3? Uh... I don't think so. That would be kind of weird. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, back to our regularly scheduled programming? Everything's fine. Nothing happened. Alright, well, we'll recover you in a second in 10, but at first I have to talk to everyone. The power supply, power supply to the... Oh, yeah. No, go, go, no, no, go ahead. The power supply to the, the game was cut off. I wasted my money. Um. <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Save Fuzzy Pickles! Remember that time your best friend died? Me too! Let's keep it in here for posterity. Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Bye.
<laughs> like the uh, toy uh, shop lady who's just excited about all of this. Ghost photographs, finally! I heard a sound like, like Gwarg and it was loud. I wonder if someone was fighting. Uh, let's see, what are we working with here? A yo yo? I love yo yos. We used to be able to do all kinds of tricks. Certainly, it's very dangerous living in the city. You know you have to survive. <laughs> but I thought this was supposed to be a city where nothing would get you down. <laughs> I guess you gotta keep that dream alive. Hey, we'll do it. Hey, Nintet, remember that time you were dead? <laughs> oh, that... Hey, dudes, it's summer! It's the manly time of year! Times for sports, guys! What can I do you for? So, well, it be today. Oh, wow, I don't need any of these. Okay. If you ever need anything, come back here and I'll set you up. Also, hey, Will. Yep, welcome. Ah, uh, we'll spring for the yo-yo. Nice. Sure. We'll, um... I guess we'll buy stuff for Ninten and just slap them on um, his unconscious form. Sure. Do I really not? No, I guess I don't. Okay. Um, no point in springing for any of the stuff we need yet, so I guess we won't worry about that. Yeah, I would just clog our inventory. Mm. But you can get some stuff here. We buy stuff from the tool. <laughs> or one thing, anyway. Would you like to, like, equip it? tool this time, it's fine. And let's buy some food, why not? We're sending instructions to the doctors at the hospital to update the equipment on Nintendo's unconscious body. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Um, we'll get to picnic's lunch. Actually, are there any gadgets I can get from the uh, shady back room guy? Is picnics lunch the proper pluralization? Well, yes, it's like attorney's general or peanuts butter. Or toothpaste. Toothpaste. <laughs> So is that multiple bottles, multiple tubes of toothpaste, or is that, um, more of a esoteric idea of different toothpaste varieties in the same way that you would say, like, people's? Oh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> well, 
I don't think that there are dedicated uh, pastes for like molars versus uh, canines. Though at the same time, if you got like uh, dog toothpaste, that's that is in fact distinct from dude toothpaste. So. Well, I mean, there's like ones that are for tartar control and ones that are for uh, whitening. Ah, true. Fluoride and non-fluoride. Sparkle fun. <laughs> Somehow, I felt like the lights would get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. Dude paste and hound paste. Ooh. Do not like the sound of either of those. Anyway, where's the hospital? I should probably get my friend back. Eh, whenever it's convenient. Oh no, we returned our bicycle. I can't ride it. <laughs> the bicycle just exists to taunt you for this whole game. Never there when you need it. Mm. Always there when you don't. I should... Whoop. Nope, not that one. Stay at the hotel for a bit. Uh, where is the hotel? way the hell over there. What's up? You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Frisk? <laughs> I already checked out your name. Do -do -do. Stop and frisk, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Boom Gardener. Welcome. You missed uh, the um, Blues Brothers again, but that's okay. We're in the Smash Bros. stage, foreside. Yes. We will. S hey, it costs just as much to stay at the hotel as it does to recover from the hospital. Hmm. I think you can still go to the Blues Brothers if you want to show that off. Uh, sure. We'll see if that is still a thing. Good morning! This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight Post. Over 90% of Foresight citizens support Monotoli. Then on page 17, mysterious department store blackout caused by mouse. What? <laughs> That's how they're reporting it? Hey, you! If you meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Anyway, I don't think a, like, a woman like that would be looking for me. Here, let's, uh call people real quick. Frisk? Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. My son. Who'd have thought he was such a brave kid? Oh yeah, you're a hero, honey. Click! Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> they shot the mouse in chair. Because they're rats. They're rats. They're the rats. They pray at night. They stalk at night. They're the rats? Uh. Frisk, sir. Are you staying here tonight? Thanks for being so generous with your tips. You never gave me a tip? Never mind. I would give you a tip if the game gave it as an option. Yeah, it... 
And it would actually be socially acceptable for me to do so, now that we're not in fantasy France. Do you want to buy a ticket? Okay, sure. Let me in. Oh, excuse me. I'm forgetting that. Fantasy. I forgot about that in uh, Pokemon. Oh. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Don't make it me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow! You cute, sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me. Sing to me only. Baby, Venus. Just sing and I can die a happy man. Baby. I want to hold you tight. Venus, baby. V Venus. <laughs> ah. No Runaway 5, but we at least get this. Yeah, I guess they're gone. Oh. Okay. Pretty sure back room is feminine, so that would be a la back room. Decides that a back room gets to be feminine anyway. Well, I mean, all rooms are feminine. Who gets to decide that all rooms get to be feminine anyway? <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. Deftly handled. What about the male room? evidently take this up with anyone who thinks about the Roman Empire because they're no longer here to take accountability. Fantasy Roman gendered language. So that was not the Runaway Five. No. It occurs to me that um, this being my first time replaying the game after uh, playing uh, uh, Undertale, I never realized that Venus there was sampled in, uh, um, at, like, one or two songs. Yeah. Ah, uh, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other feds see you enter. No, uh, Runaway 5. They ran away. 5. But we can talk to Venus. Oh, you're just a little kid. I'm too busy right now to give you my autograph. Maybe next time, little man. Oh, okay. Ah, that's okay. Well, that was nice. Wait, do they have any? Have has their relationship progressed any? No. They're still dating. I guess. Oh hi. My socks are all in the wash now. I stepped in tomato sauce. Well, why would you do that? 
she was right. laughing her socks off. Mr. Jeldegard Monotoli come here often? Hello? Time to get up! It could never happen! Well, actually, that's not true. There's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch, and the fans are singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game at the stadium. <laughs> there used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized his schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Until he didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secret, so I'm spending my time here, watching to see watching if he ever drops in. Seems like it's just for decoration. Can you talk to that other guy? Oh. Okay. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If we eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four is left. That's uh, not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. You take four apples from five apples. How many apples do you have? That's right. That's one apple. No, you take. You have four apples. You idiot. You take four apples from five apples. You have four apples. Well, I. You never said that I retained the apples. <laughs> Maybe I'm taking them to the trash. QED. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I got to the bathroom fast. Where got her? I accidentally knocked the wall instead of the restroom door. The next thing I knew, someone asked, Who is it? And it really surprised me. Maybe I just managed it? Oh, I see. This is nowhere near as upper class as where we were, Boom Gardner. Anyway, there's a there's a guy. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to go like that. I'm glad it wasn't me. He doesn't look like a nice man. There's a person lying on the ground. I wonder if he's he's. Ooh, I don't like seeing a corpse around here. So you can't, can't say, say dead, dead, but you can say corpse, apparently. I guess so. He's breathing. Has he just been playing too hard? Hold on. It, 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 no, wait, you. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? What do I oh. get? Give him a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> um, darn, I mostly Probably have a the picnic things. lunch. Yeah, okay. Are you sure? All right, take my All place. All right, take my place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aren't you frisk? I can't see too well. Then take off the sunglasses. <laughs> Everything's blurry. You're a frisk, aren't you? It's me we met in Tucson. Everdread from Berglund Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was whole hiding something. <laughs> Strange. 
I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Manny Manny. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, I'm in pain. And Monatoli tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. <laughs> I said I'd tell you only once. But if you insist, I'll tell you once more. <laughs> Do you want to hear it again? <laughs> could could you please repeat it? I wasn't listening the first time. <laughs> oh, Aren't well, you... the whole oh, thing again. Okay. All right. I don't actually want to. Nope. It's okay. It's okay. We were just doing a bit. It's fine. <laughs> Check behind the counter. Oh, wait, this is new. <laughs> I've told you twice already. But if you want to hear one more time, I'll tell you once more. <laughs> well, I, I have to see if he says three times. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh. I'm not that nice of a guy, besides. I'm slipping away. <laughs> Can you tell it again? I wasn't listening. Dude, I'm literally dying right now. <laughs> Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. Yeah, that's the haiku. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa. So long. I'll see ya. <laughs> yeah, hey, don't don't box me in. Is that man going to to do you know him? You must be a dangerous kid. I bet you're on your way to Jackie's cafe right now. Don't you feel better since you had the chance to talk with your friend? I helped you find him. He should really go to the hospital like other sick people do. I think that was a bar in the original Japanese version. Yes. But it's funny. <laughs> yeah. It's funny seeing it localized and having... I bet you're a real tough customer going to the cafe. Well, that and all the talk about uh, <laughs> people getting on caffeine buzzes. <laughs> yeah. He stared right at me. Oh, it was scary. He's not dead. I thought he may have passed on. Oh, no, now she can say that. Um, it's worth note um, that... Uh, I'll beat up this lady while I talk. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm bored, so I'll beat up this lady while I talk. <laughs> well, she's extra cranky. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Earthbound was actually the first RPG that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto played through in its entirety. Uh -huh. um, famously a genre he was not a fan of, by and large. Um, technically, he played through all of... Um, uh, the uh, Earthbound Beginnings as well, but that was with hacks and stuff. Um, yeah. uh, this one he played legitimately, and one of the things that he cited about really dr drawing his interest is uh, the amount of attention to detail to realism in this game. So one of the things that he specifically cited is that sequence where Everdread is stumbling away and 
the crowd parts around him, and then he stumbles back towards people, and they back off. Um, that level of scripting uh, was um, just not something that he was used to really seeing in video games. That really struck him as being extremely... Um, there being a lot of verisimilitude to uh, those sorts of details to the game. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, those kinds of things that are like... Um planned scripted sequences, I think that's a big uh, high point for RPGs in general and something that they can do that is difficult to do effectively in most other genres. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do the thing. Nani? Oh. Uh-oh. I got more than I bargained for. Can't believe I just heard anyone, let alone my partner, use the term verisimilitude in real life. What a feeling. No, oh, that... that's... no go ahead. Oh, no, that's right. I am I am the host here. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. You confront the Robopump. Oh, these guys explode, don't they? That's not great. Rust Promoter! Robopump whispered. Three. No game is as as magical as the often neglected by Western uh, Western audience. The fast, the fantabulous VidCon arc, the lad. <laughs> uh, did we already beat the stupid caves? Yes, indeed. Huh. Foresight. Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Yes is no, and no is yes. Makes perfect sense in Moonside. So why the hell wasn't Moonside the Smash Bros. stage? Yeah. I think that would be a lot more interesting, for sure. You confront like the abstract art. Like, Foresight's fine, but Moonside would be so cool. You could even just have it as it is and just slather neon lights all over it. <laughs> the abstract art stopped moving. You understand all this? No. Good, I'm glad you get it. Maybe they didn't want to spoil for yes. it? Oh, I'll check. After, right after these messages from our sponsor. The robot pump. Did you collect all five library guards? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> understand all this? Yes. No, you don't. To tell you the truth, neither do I. You engage the Dolly's clock. Creepy. Creepy. I forgot about that.
The Dolly's Clock is only defeated. It isn't destroyed or anything like that. Uh, there's commentary there. Welcome to Moonside. Welcome all to soon, mide. Moon well ought cosim cosid me. So there's something kind of funny about Moonside being this weird place with all these weird enemies when you were already fighting sentient taxi cabs and roadsides and regular fortside. I guess it's mostly a case of, um... Oh, that's interesting. Sorry, I guess it's mostly a case of those were weird enemies, now we're on fully surreal enemies. Yeah. Welcome to Moonside. Well, come to Moonside. Um, when the Dolly's Clock freezes us in time, um, it stops the uh, rolling health meter. Yeah, that's a cool effect. Which makes perfect sense. If we are frozen in time, then our perception of being in pain freezes, and so do game mechanics. How much does, uh, Gamma heal? Oh, rad. It's expensive, but it's nice to have. But yeah, I like that this area just goes completely full modern abstraction. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, it says a lot about how, like, I guess this game, um, it's very experimental, but it feels like it, uh, it, a lot of what you're trying to tackle is, like, different emotions of things that you're approaching, and, like, right here is, like, how do you make sense of all of this weird art that, and nonsense that has no inherent meaning, so... I think, like, um, going full modernism with that's a cool way to do it. Definitely. If you stay here too long, you'll end up frying your brain. Yes, you will. No, you will not. Yes, no, you will, won't. Oh, it's the edge of the world. Wow, Dolly's clocks are fast. They're exactly as fast as every other enemy. Enemies are fast. <laughs> oh, baby! Offense went up by three. Everyone is someone. Don't you think so? No. <laughs> oh. Moon's the damn moon side. Wow, disagreeing with him makes him quite unhappy. <laughs> I can sense that you have a controller. In your hands. Man, they must have been on drugs when they made this game. <laughs> no. It's, uh... That's a very... Um... 2010-era... Internet... <laughs> observation on this game. Hotel Luigi's Mansion 2. $75 for one sleep period for a single room. Kind of mixing up Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Frisk picked up the receiver. 
Frisk, it's your dad. This is a normal phone call. Don't even worry about it. I, it's fine, it's fine. I don't remember if uh, any of the other numbers are different. Frisk? Don't say a word. I know exactly what you're thinking. Do, do you, Mom? I mean, I appreciate it, but... I, I don't know if you really fully grasp the existential period. Do you understand what Dolly was meaning with the um, time slipping by her fingers when he painted all of the dripping clocks? Do you understand, really, Mother? This is Dark Moon Hotel. One sleep period is $150. Do you want to sleep? Um... Sure. Oh, right. And you're gore. actually going to try to stay up? <laughs> well, it's your deal. Hi, how you doing? From the look at, looks of things, I would say not so good. Do you need anything? Oh, well, that is very nice. Um, sure. Dolly was many things, including a schmuck who spoke in the third person. Yes. Are you going to buy anything else? Yes. It's not much of a hotel. That's okay. I will go ahead and stay. I would like sleep period. Do you want do you want to sleep? Alright, here we go. Good morning, uh, not morning. Here in Moonside, it's always the middle of the night. This is a headline from tonight's Moonside Press. Moni Moni is always Moni Moni at Moni Moni. Moni. Say that five times fast. Uh, that five times fast. Asked and answered. Frisk's HP drops to zero. Ninten's HP drops to zero. Why would you say something so hurtful? <laughs> Hello. Oh. And goodbye. Whoop. Sup? The Money Money statue is up ahead, but I'm gonna stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me. Cause you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows are connected and who also has a gold tooth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm a chuckster. <laughs> we confront the enraged fire plug. Why's he got a cute little nose? Or rather, a big schnoz, but a cute big schnoz. Enraged fire plug stopped moving. The enraged fire plug looks awfully placid for something so enraged. <laughs> enraged in the um, moonside sense, I guess. How about I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. 
You don't want me to sharpen? Side of moon, side D moon. Welk, welk, um, welk, um, um. Now that's not neighborly. Don't throw a tantrum just because I don't want to be sharpened. No problem here. Debatable. <laughs> hey, parking meters, and you're walking around. <laughs> That's so funny. Welcome to Moonside. Let's go see the dinosaurs. Sup? You know whose bones are on, on display here? The answer is your bones. My bones. Bones, bones. Bone, bone, bone. Q-bone? E-bone, bone, bone. So anyway, if you have bones, that'll change soon. Um, excuse me. Thank you. No, I don't know. Get out of here. Take your bones over there. I want to read this. Thank no you. No bones about it. Welcome to Moonside. Why did you come to Moonside? How long are you staying in Moonside? Th thank you. Bones are great. Do you like bones too? Yes. You don't like bones? Bone, bone, bone. Fine. No, I do. You like bones? <laughs> bone, bone, bone. Riveting. Naturally, I hardly need to point it out, but uh, this dinosaur skeleton is a single leg and uh, five pairs of ribs. Huh. Dinosaur bones be expensive. <laughs> well, that much is true. I'm pretty forgetful. I even forgot why I'm here. I just forgot something. Who am I? Am I a man? Are we not men? We are Devo. I will send you first, and then you second. To the hospital. Well, that was very polite of him. I'm gonna beat up this painting now. healer and the doctor have switched places. Pretty sure this <laughs> is all standard stuff. No, please. What do we have here? Yes means no. No means yes. Or did you already know this? Ah, you knew it. That's good. I was just wondering. Oh yeah? You didn't know? Present! Frisk open the present. There is a double burger inside. Frisk takes it. Alright, so he sends us to the hospital. That, those are clocks. That's a dupe. 257256255254253. So, what's your problem? If you don't want anything, get out of here. I'm counting backwards. Two five two two five one two five zero. 
<laughs> forgot about that with that guy. There's something quietly sinister to counting down in the low hundreds off in the corner. Uh oh. I'm not sure, but I think he keeps counting if you keep talking to him. I'll have to see if it's 249. has a lot of catching up to do. 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63. What? Is this a special hobby of yours? You like watching people count backwards? 62, 61, 60, 59. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ba boom Wow, I scared myself. Got surprised. Huh. I guess he wasn't expecting to explode at the end. I guess the paint, the abstract art is gutsy. I like to think that the things in Earthbound that are most dangerous are the ones that make you feel the most emotions. <laughs> kind of fits in with the themes of the game. I could see that. All right. I forget all the places you are and are not able to explore. I'll tell you what I hate in this world. That's for steak. The color, the smell, the taste, the texture. Hey you, you're drooling. I forgot that was what we named our favorite food. And goodbye. Else we're gonna be good at uh, we're gonna make for decent art critics by the end of this. <laughs> Shallow and pedantic. Cliche pedestrian. <laughs> It's like performance art. Pray it using, but when's creativity start? Oh, hey, it's a butterfly. Glad butterfly butterflies at least are a universal constant. Maybe they're secretly moths.
I suppose um, if you were in this situation, just seeing a normal butterfly would be pretty relaxing. That's true. In, in most cases, the butterflies have magic powers, but in here it's just a normal butterfly who makes you relax. No. Fine. It is very polite of these enemies to only attack one at a time. The Dolly's clock is saying tick tock. Also, I didn't notice uh, before, but we are shooting our yo yo. I guess it's a projectile ish weapon. Oh. Damn. Made a liar out of me. Very demure of them. Very mindful. Yes. It could have gone full brat. Oh, I was definitely attacking the wrong guy. Died there. Um, rude. All right, well, screw this. I should really just take the hint. See, I, I, I think that that fire plug is very enraged on the inside. It's like a very um, internal rage that's fiercer than any external rage. Just hide the pain, fire plug. <laughs> you, get, you gotta weather the storm. Uh, this is a fire plug that goes to his 9 to 5 job that he hates every day. Just loathes his boss, but he has to get money for food on the table. Never says anything. <laughs> I'll just duck back into the cafe for a split sec. And by the power of naughtiness, I command that pow that particular fire plug to b be really, really hot. <laughs> I didn't know you had a type. Wait, how do I dodge quickly in frozen time? I guess Frisk is unlocking the power of ZAWARUDO! Give me the monies. That's a decent amount of monies, never mind. My type is one that can help me carbo load ahead of an Irish dance competition. Fair. That seems like the most important thing to look for in a partner. Like 
uh, just put that on your dating pr profile. If you can't do this, we're not over, not the right match. Sorry. Let's see. Ah, we're doing okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We need the right dude to fling us into the next uh, millennium. Frisk open the present. There is a protein drink inside. Frisk takes it. Right, you can subtly see where the barriers are by paying close attention. I, I can? I can't really see. Oh, yeah, I can. Well, no. That's not the barrier. Is, is it a color thing? I can't really tell either. The barriers are where it's completely bat black. The ground has well, pixels. Well, right now you're walking on something completely black. There's pixels below. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Hello, and goodbye. Wait, no, I don't want to be here. This is the dumb part. This is the cool part. Yeah! I guess I'll punch this clock. Yeah, like right here, it's just black. Wait, no, I don't like you. I don't like you either, go away! I like that the primary purpose of the enraged fire plug is just to be a wall in your way um, while this other guy explodes. He's very rude. Only in the context of an RPG could that setup ever make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we're trying we're trying to dodge the massive explosion, but we just can't. First, we have to destroy this little fire hydrant, and it's very important that you destroy the fire hydrant before everything else. Yes. It's a fine burger. It is 100% beef. Okay, that's 
That's that. Okay, fine. This is a dumb part of town. Fling me away. And goodbye. stuck in a loveless marriage, but we we keep it going for the sake of the kids. A very, um, milkman conspiracy. <laughs> See, oh. Where do you throw me? No, that's the dumb place. Only losers get, uh, uh, throw people there. Whew, saved it. Yeah, that's right, you beat up that painting for me. No! What do you think this moon man's relationship is to this other moon and this bird? Well, the distant moon is, of course, um, the uh, specter of parenthood that uh, the moon man must confront every day. Uh, and the bird man is a bird man. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Let's see. This guy, I'm pretty sure he throws me at the sailor dude. Yeah, he does. Oh. No, he doesn't. Let's go open the present. <laughs> there is a knight pendant inside. Nice. What exactly does it do? It absorbs the light of a flash attack. Oh, that is useful. You might want to give that to Ninten, actually. Oh? Because it's better. R right. Oh, and you're Ninten saying... needs it. Okay, that's fair. So uh, he doesn't die. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> sell stuff here? I do not believe so. Oh, looks like this is it. Hello, and goodbye. Although maybe it was just that specific area. First go open the present. There is a handbag strap inside. Okay. Handbag strap. When used as a whip during battle, the enemy takes enough damage to stop moving for a short time. Gone after one use. So it's the slime machine, except you can only use it once. Oh yeah, I guess so. I spy with my little eye, Alakazam. I see a country in summer and a big silver ball. You're burnt, but you're fine. That is what I see. That is relevant you're, information. You're surprisingly lucid for, in comparison to everyone here. Here, let's get rid of this hand. Oh, hey, you made it. How are you? Is, are you? is this a tool shop or something? What are you selling anyway? Uh. You can take this great charm. Oh boy. No. You didn't want to sell that? No. Oh, you thought it would be reversed because Moonside. <laughs> so this is so 
What that means is that this is a guy that has managed to penetrate into uh, uh, Moonside from our side of uh, the world. Indeed. For the sole purpose, uh, and it, I'm glad he thinks it was well worth his trouble to come up out here. <laughs> I mean, sometimes deals are such a good deal that they're worth flipping dimensions for. Frisk lashed out with the handbag strap. Oh, it does damage as well. That's nice. It's gone now, though. Yes, but it was nice while it lasted. Also, good lord, how hard is he whipping that handbag strap if it uh, busts it? Hello, and goodbye. Sup? Before the soup gets cold, we must care for Manny Manny. Before the knife gets rusty, we must care for Manny Manny. Well, that makes sense. I think that's entirely reasonable. There is a secret herb inside. Hello. Hello. And goodbye. Shall I? Yes. Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to Moo Moo Moo. I don't think there's actually much else for me here. There is not. Okay. Goodbye. Sup? I'm really busy doing nothing, so I don't have time to talk to you. If you need something, talk to my partner. He's right over there, see? You mean you can't see him? Uh... Sup? Can you see me? No. Haha, <laughs> you can, huh? <laughs> You've become a real moon sidian, haven't you? Then I will say, yes, I can't. Uh huh, you can't? You're definitely not from around here. Hehe, <laughs> get going now. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Uh, wait. Uh, okay, well, I'll just go. Wait, no, I won't go. Are you looking for some kind of door? Well, you're not gonna find one. So get out of my face, loser. I have no patience when people interrupt me while I'm busy doing nothing. Gee, sorry. Ha! <laughs> it's me! You can see me, right? There's something interesting about you, so I'm going to follow you. Don't worry, though. <laughs> If you get into a fight, I'll stay out of it. Well, that's considerate. Let... Hey, <laughs> you can't see me, right? Uh, let's stay here again. I assume it's the same, uh, newspapers, but... Yep. Yep, hey. Don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. <laughs> smile, smile. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> Don't you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out. They're connected. It's not often you you have someone who's enthused to have the uh, unibrow going. Well, it is a wonderful day for eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, 
the many, many statue is up ahead, but I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Huzzah, you really surprised me. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected and who has a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? I ship them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, there's not really much to prep, so let's go. Don't do anything to me. I am. I am not Monotoli. Okay. So, it is a golden statue that you have seen before. Evil Mani Mani attacked. All right, let's hunker on down. Oh. Well, let's, let's help him out. I guess we'll spy. Ten's body was protected by the power shield. Evil Mani Mani's offense is 86, defense is 145. Oh. Bastard. Uh, counter PSI unit probably won't do much, so let's blow him up. The power shield deflected the attack. Something. I Wumbo! Beta! Haha! -ha. Uh, I'll actually save the bottle rockets for a little bit. Money, money, stopped moving. Frisk might be a little over leveled. Yep. <laughs> 42. Let's get a couple levels to eat, close that gap. Nope. The Mani Mani statue was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. I just told you this. You didn't need to check it again. You were wandering around the warehouse with a vacant, faraway look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? Moon side side moon. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I've come up with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway. It's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, right now, it can only make trout-flavored yogurt. So I'm having the machine delivered to you via Escargo Express. It's coming neglected class. <laughs> Hopefully you'll get it soon. Yeah, everything is... <laughs> Uh, I've got to go to the problem. Let's get go back. So this is definitely supposed to resemble Gigas as he appeared in the last game, right? 
I never really thought about that, but I guess that makes sense. Um, granted, uh, Gigas kind of had different horns before, but, uh, but maybe a little bit. What? Does Mr. J oh, I saw this. Kids shouldn't drink espresso. It'll stunt your growth, stubby. And quit hanging around here. What? Mr. Monatoli's here? You must be thinking of someone else. Looks like everyone else is just saying the uh, same stuff as before. Oh, it's our friend. Oh. I'm not a delivery man. I can't remember if we've met. It's not our friend. Talarama just finished fasting and now wants to meet you at the west end of Dusty Dunes Desert in a cave with lots of monkeys. I'll use my teleportation to... Bye! Crash! Oops! Crunch! Oops! Greetings! It's Escargo Express's neglected class. Whew! I just got here from the dusty dune desert. There's this sunbathing guy, and he told me about a cave with lots of monkeys. Or was it orangutans? Anyway, he said, well, uh, uh, I forgot. Yep, I forgot. Actually, I forgot the stuff I was supposed to deliver to. I think it was some weird machine to make trout-flavored yogurt. Yeah, I forgot it at the desert. I'm not going back that way, so don't ask me to get the package. I mean, it's your package, right? So you go get it. Go on, get out of here. Maybe that thing I forgot is important to you. So, have a good time in the desert. <laughs> Hello. I heard you talking about trout-flavored yogurt. I'm a maid who serves Mr. Monatoli, and I'm looking for trout-flavored yogurt to give to our special guest. If you know anything about it, please tell me. I've been searching and searching. How convenient. Do any other weirdos want to show up right about now? Hold up. Let's see. Um, it's worth note that um, I guess I might as well heal. Original scripts, uh, instead of trout flavored yogurt, it is strawberry tofu, which we saw in the last game. Huh. Uh, supposedly, that was uh, Shigesato Itoi trying to think of the most disgusting sounding Westerner take on uh, Japanese food he could think of. Huh. And then he Running up to the release of uh, uh, Mother 2, he actually found someone that makes uh, strawberry tofu and tried it, and it was indeed quite gross. Doesn't seem that bad. I mean, tofu has so little flavor that you'd think it would be versatile enough to be working a sweet thing, but maybe I'm just not culinarily um advanced it might be that it's like I know I've definitely had artificially flavored strawberries that are nasty so maybe it's something along those lines of just really bad chemical cocktail maybe Front page of the Foresight post, over 50% of Foresight citizens now support anti-Monotoli campaign. 
And on page 23 of the Foresight Post, Lonely Demise in City, long-haired man with beard, sunglasses, and Aloha shirt found in street. Aw, he did die, just off screen. All right, well, let's hoof it back out to the desert. Wait. Danger, do not stand in the street. Oh, excuse me. Looks like the next bus will come soon. <laughs> He's not intelligent enough enough to know to drop you off on the way. For sure you can stop in three. Well, I was hoping to stop in... Uh, um... Wow, a lot of butterflies. Uh, I couldn't remember if there was a place I could stop in the desert. Guess we'll have to walk these two screens. Should be walking on the uh, left side of the road. Yeah, three screens. Ah, yes, here we go. I had to think about it. Side has thrown me, or moon side has thrown me. bus stop here. Well, probably I would have been just fine. Sup? Welcome! Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind. And he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. A skip sandwich? I'll move away if you give me one. Can you give me one? I won't move. I'm gonna eat a picnic lunch. If you grant my wish, I might open the entrance. Will you give me a picnic lunch? I forgot that this is a whole thing. Okay. Yep. Great! Hee hee hee. Frisk open the chest. Whoa! There's a pizza inside! Nintendo takes it. Really likes pizza. <laughs> he loves it! Ooh, I'm a Moncona. I want to eat a tasty pizza. If you have some, will you give it to me? Sure. Moncona's happy. Ooh. Doesn't it feel hot in here? My fur's all sweaty. Maybe you don't usually keep a wet towel, but if you have one, will you share it with me? 
Anyway, it is humid in here. Let's go open the chest. Whoa! There's another pizza inside. Why did she just come into this room to grab that? Somewhere amongst all these rooms, you should be able to obtain Dragonite. Do you think Dragonite is really made from dragons? By the way, I'll give you a fresh egg. No, I think he's made Run from Dratini. Come back, and I'll give you as many eggs as you want. Nice. Yeah, that's right. It, uh... Definitely my first time playing through, I was like, wait, wait, a what? The what? <laughs> yeah. Considering that Ape Interactive would go on to be Creatures Interactive, you have to wonder if uh, they were giving uh, uh, Game Freak a little hat tip here. Potentially. I'm a mole. Although it is a totally different context. Well, yes. Inside the present, there was a croissant. Croissant. It me the. I mean, those are good. This feels like the issue I always run into with this stretch, where I just have so much stuff in my inventory that's like, okay, yeah, I don't, don't want to have to go back and forth. But well, well, you need the wet towel, so sell that, sell something, so you can get the wet towel. Uh, what actually does the protein drink do? Building a stronger, healthier body it gives you a blast of nourishment when you are fatigued. If you drink this, you'll recover about 80 HP. Man, I don't want to sell the egg. You should sell the egg. He gave it to me special. The monkey caves are pretty good about giving you the things you need to progress, if I recall correctly. And the skip sandwich and wet towel are right here. And the picnic lunch, too, yeah. Ah, true. Skip sandwich, right? Okay. Mole. route first, I guess. Alright. 
doesn't feel hot in here, my fear's all sweaty. Maybe you don't need to keep a wet towel, but if you have one, will you share it with me? Sure. Do you have one? Thank you. It's humid here. Whoa! There's a ruler inside! <laughs> oh boy! I love hamburgers! The monkey next to me loves hamburgers too. If you have a hamburger, will you please give it to me? You ate oh, I, the double I, burger. That's it. Ellipses. <laughs> I love hamburgers! The monkey next to me loves hamburgers, too. No. Well, let's still make what inroads we can. A skip sandwich. A skip sandwich. Lucky. Let's go open the chest. Whoa! There is a wet towel inside. I'd like to have a protein drink. Can you give me one? In fact, I can. Go, go, yucky. Go, go, yucky. Yeah, yeah. If you have a pizza, please give me one. Whoops, I spoke to you in the human's language. If you have a pizza, please give me one. Great pizza time! Thank you. Crap, I used the human's language again. I can't believe the Spider-Man movies ripped off Earthbound. <laughs> pizza time. Also rare instance of crap in a, an NES game. <laughs> I am SNES. Man K Man. Or er, SNES, no, no. yes. <laughs> No relation to King K. Rule. Or King K. Rappy, I guess. To me, the most interesting thing is the King Banana. What? Are you giving me a present? Tightwad. Let's get to the point. Give me a hamburger. Okay, shove off then. Whoa! There's a pro. Uh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. I got the another pocket. I don't think I was in here. Punt the mushroom. Meow meow. <laughs> What strange chattering for a monkey. Cool, cool, peep, peep, peep. If I eat a fresh egg, I recover some health. If you have one, can I have one? Fine, I'll just be a weird monkey. Oh, I want to measure something. But I don't have a ruler. Do you have one I may borrow? Finally, I can measure my own tail. Oh, but, okay. Wait, no, I want to... Okay. One of my friends can use the teleport. What? You've never heard of it? Then I'll give you King Banana. That didn't make sense, did it? 
But anyway, I'm attractive, don't you think? <laughs> were born in the desert. What? You didn't ask me about that? You guys must be hard workers. I'm not making sense, am I? But I am attractive, don't you think? Kind of a one-track mind there, lady. I can measure his tail, too. Let's see, that guy wants a fresh egg. I actually checked what was in that one. Come back to it though, we don't wanna. Wonder if these monkeys are descended from the Earthbound Beginnings desert monkeys. I mean, it's a very similar setup an underground monkey cavern of magical sage simians. Uh, the, the, there's also a monkey in a desert in Mo Mother 3 as well. Oh, that's true. I've died and gone to monkey heaven. I am man K man. So that's gonna be the end. But I. Maybe you can go on the other paths later. Is, is this the end? So that's the king banana, I would assume so. Maybe he just has, um... Oh, no. Maybe he just has fancy taste. No. You, you got the king banana as a big ol' thing. I mean, I also got the fresh egg as a big ol' thing. But you've never seen a, a king banana before. Well, that is true. Alright. Hold on, we'll navigate this, um... We'll navigate this. I'm trying to keep track of uh, this whole chain. Did you find a flame pendant? Oh, no, you don't have to answer. Here's another fresh egg. Did... Could just throw away your extra egg. Or I could treasure it until such a time as I'm ready to give it to somewhere else. Like, but the hamburger would actually be useful. I could just tell them that there exists a hamburger. <laughs> You're really gonna go the most cir circuitous path possible so you can keep a useless fresh egg, huh? It's a hundred and ten bucks, Gooms. That means nothing at this point in the game. You have way more than enough money. Five is nice. Not really. The chicken clogs your inventory for a long time. It's actively a annoyance. No. Yes. Uh, let's see. Who wants the fresh egg? I don't think I was in here. Maybe I was. Oh, come. Oh, come. 
See? I'll be making life more difficult for himself as per. Yep. <laughs> Risk dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a neutralizer inside. Used during battle, this item resets the abilities of all creatures to their normal levels. Any changes that had taken place due to PSI and such is neutralized. It also neutralizes all shields for under enemy that were in effect. Remember! The abilities that I am talking about are offense, defense, guts, etc. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. You could explain that by just saying cancel buffs. I saw your sign. I thought I should stop and buy something. I tried and tried to find it, but no such luck. I think you should give this up and go home. If you took your business more seriously, you would be more considerate of your customers. Click. Beep. How did you see that sign and come running? Yeah, it sort of begs the question, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, where the fuck was the, that person that they could see your sign but not figure out how to reach it? Also get rid of the uh, uh, new wet towel. Wait, nope. I will get rid of it by selling it. Oh, he's back. And that's not even getting getting into how they just knew your phone number. Yeah, that's kind of weird. See if I remember where the burgers are. the end of this branch. to you. Please take care.
there is a bag of Dragonite inside. Oh, good. Anyway, this isn't where I need to be delivering the burger just yet. it must be arranged for an end time. That'll be a burger two. This time it's not burger one. Yeah, okay, burger time. Hamburger! Truth is, the monkey next to me is my twin brother. Six. to me is my twin brother. Whoa! There's a flame pendant inside. Oh, nice. Well, let's see here. There's a broken tube inside. I guess that one will have to come back to. The bag of Dragonite is a one-time instant kill on anything in the game. I believe that's right. Bag of Dragonite. If you sprinkle the powder on one of your friends during battle, that friend turns into a dragon and attacks all enemies. Gone after one Gigas. Yeah. I, I think it instantly even kills the Gigas. No, surely not. I think it does. Did 
you find a flame pendant? Oh no, you don't have to answer. Here's another fresh egg. You have too much stuff! I guess Good. we can't actually... <laughs> I guess we can't actually give him the flame pendant. Yeah, is the flame pendant worth equipping? Just a sec. Um, I forget what the flame pendant protects. Well, I think it... Words. Flame Pendant must be equipped on your body. It protects you from fire attacks. Makes sense. Have Ninten equip it and then have Frisk equip the Night Pendant. Oh, okay. And I'll get rid of that great charm. I'll be back. Alrighty. As long as... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Duh, I have to actually use the four sail sign. Please. Don't walk on the scorpion. Scalpion must be, uh, an outspeed.
what's in this one? There is a picnic lunch. Hmm. Jeez Louise. Okay. Oh, that's right! I love Talarama the most. He's a friend of the monkeys. Here's a song I made up for Talarama. I love Talarama the most. He's a friend of the monkeys. It's the same thing as before. Oh, it is the singing monkey, huh? So technically that monkey wasn't in the desert, but yeah, it's been 10 years. Just to mark the path, man came in. Specifically 10 years? Um, about 10 years. Um, okay, we saw this already. Um, I need to get the pencil eraser out of storage. Um, Every bit counts. What even do I have left to sell? Uh, the rust promoter. No, but yeah. Ah, yes. The broken tube. I can figure out stuff to cram into storage.
Wait, no, I needed to deliver it done as well. well. We'll do this bit by bit. So we will cover that. We'll, I guess, deposit the exit mouse. So don't worry too much about him. He is he can be used as an item. We'll also save that Dragonite. TBH, it might have been prescient to uh, just store a bunch of things you didn't immediately need at the start of this whole little quest. Yes, but I always forget that. Um... But, but yes. Wrong one. Alright, well, let's go wave him off as soon as he shows up. Not much, but it is something anyway. Damn, darn, I was so waiting for it to turn out you'd left the pencil eraser with Dean, but I guess the game would have accounted for it if you did. I actually had that happen on a previous run. Um, what happens? It's there's some sort of acknowledgement about a special one-time uh, free delivery or free pickup being done by um, uh, by Escargo Express. Come on, dumb sprouts. Parsley, if you need the space. I think I'm alright for the moment, but I'll keep that in mind. Especially as I beat up these dudes.
Alright. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Brisk used the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. I've been waiting for you. Y you have? The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Frisk, Dean, Ninten, and Joe. I forgot what we named him. When these four powers gather, twisted space will bring back peace to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what it is inside with you. Did you come in search of this? Someone left it behind in this hole. There we go. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help me move through space, as you wish. Learn the skill for the monkey over there. Would you like to learn this special power? Ha! <laughs> that's wonderful! Speak to the monkey over there. Let's check these first. Whoa! There's a brain food lunch inside. Cup of life noodles. I'll teach you teleportation. Let's go outside. Alright. Planning on doubling back for the life noodles and brain food lunch? Uh, yes. this way. Okay, I'll do a teacher's demonstration. If you can learn this, you can go anywhere you've been previously. You can go there instantly. This skill can't be used in a room or underground, though. to foresight and returned. I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also build up enough speed while turning if you have enough room. Okay, why don't you try it, young man? Frisk learned how to use PSI teleportation. Great! Okay, the teacher is going home now. Cool. Alright, 
I know Gooms is still out, but I am starting to lose steam myself. So I am going to uh, uh, wrap up here. I'll just do a quick phone call. I'll make a note for myself so I don't forget to grab the extra stuff. Let's see. Grab the extra stuff in the monkey cave. There we go. Oh, we're still doing just fine in the money department. Uh, I'm not going to grab the items to miss before I wrap up. Um, I... It... I think this is a good point to wrap up. And uh, like I said, I've made a quick note, so we'll come back to it right away at the top of next time. But uh, I need to be uh, wrapping up right about now. My apologies. So, uh, still a little bit of poking around to do there, and still a little bit more stuff to do in Foresight, but we're but we're about at the end of this juncture here. All right, so let's see. We will reset the game real quick. Just to make sure. Okay. I think this is the first time we actually break our streak of seven uh, uh, levels per session. That's okay, though. All right. Well, we'll leave it there, but uh, for now, thank you for tuning in. We hope you all had fun, and we'll catch you on the next stream. Take care. <laughs>